If you've been following along on this series, hopefully you've got your central heating settings dialed in for your Valent Aerotherm Plus heat pump. Today we're going to have a quick look at the domestic hot water settings and get you in the ballpark of what you should be looking at. So the first thing I want you to do is completely ignore the temperature that shows in here for your domestic hot water. It has little to no relevance um, on the actual hot water temperature coming out of your taps. So don't panic if it's only showing 36 degrees because I could still get two or three hot showers out of that because the temperature at the top of my tank would be closer to 50, 55 degrees at the moment. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. First thing you want to do is go to the control part and then we're going to go down to domestic hot water and you need to make sure that the mode is not on manual, that it's on time controlled and then you want to go to your domestic hot water weekly planner and then I want you to set a schedule that's going to work for you in your home. If you're morning showerers like we are, then three to five a.m. is plenty of time to get all the hot water you need for the showering that starts in our house from like 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Okay, once you set your weekly planner, then you're going to um, set your domestic hot water temperature. I suggest that 50 degrees is a good starting point for most people. Most people won't need more than that, and you can do your own risk assessment on whether you want to get away with less hot water. 48 degrees works for us, family of five. Circulation is only relevant if you've got a secondary hot water return. In our case, we don't, so that weekly planner does absolutely nothing. Set it up when we're first got the controller before I understood what it did. Okay, now we are going to go to the settings. Oh, I could have scrolled down. So we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to installer level, and we're just going to make sure that everything is configured quite nicely for a heat pump doing our hot water. If we go down to this domestic hot water, okay, so um, ignore this, so that won't show you a current uh, tank temperature, that's the flow temperature from the heat pump. So you can see that these are set to off because we don't have any of those installed. I've got the Legionella uh, disabled. You can look up the articles on the Heat Geek website or look at their channel for a really great video and you can do your own risk assessment. Cylinder charge in hysteresis, 10K is probably a good figure, a good starting point for most people. Um, that is the difference between the target temperature and then when the tank starts reheating. So in our example, we've got a, t a desired temperature for the tank to be at 50 degrees. It won't start heating the tank again until it drops below 49. So once it hits 39 degrees, it will start trying to heat it back up to 50 degrees. And then the charging offset is the difference between the uh, target temperature of 50 degrees and then the flow temperature that the heat pump is targeting so in our case it will try and use a flow temperature of 52 degrees to charge the the domestic hot water cylinder to 50 degrees ultimately the this makes little to no difference valent seems to do what it wants to do and you're charging offset you can set 2 or 10k and if you monitor the flow and return temperatures you'll see very little difference the max cylinder charging time um, i suggest most people 120 minutes is going to be fine and 90 minutes is going to be fine for the anti-cycle time this will get you in the ballpark and this will tell you roughly what you need to know yes there's loads of other ways to heat your hot water the most important thing and the thing that most people are doing wrong is they are panicking when they look in here and they look at their current temperature and domestic hot water in our case it can show 16 17 18 degrees and there's still plenty enough hot water in the top of the tank to deliver a nice hot shower of 39 degrees for 10 minutes and that's because the temperature probe is in the bottom third of the tank and so basing any of your calculations or your your uh, configuration on this temperature is a fool's errand and you'll be throwing away efficiency you want to heat you want to uh, just heat your tank once a day for the best efficiency and you want really that tank to get as cool as possible before you start the cycle so time controlled if you find that you really are legitimately running out of hot water like your 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 taps are going tepid or cold then you may need to either bump up your domestic hot water temperature that is preferable. Secondary to that would be go into your weekly planner and do a second hot water cycle later on in the day. But as uh, my experiments have shown, and I've shown it on the channel actually, um, if you are running out of hot water, 
increasing your store temperature up to 55 degrees actually gives you so much more hot water and it's a more efficient process to heat your hot water tank to 55 degrees once per day than it is to heat your hot water tank to 45 degrees twice a day anyway i hope that's given you plenty of food for thought and given you a good starting point Put your questions and your comments in the description. What works for you? Um, do you have any uh, crazy scenario and situation which means that these settings don't work for you and you do need to do some serious adjustment? Or do you consider this a good starting point? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back with more soon. Goodbye.